Hi brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm very excited to be bringing to you this video because a brother in Christ had a visitation to heaven and God revealed to him many things and one of the things the brother in Christ got to see was the book of life. But before I talk to you about that, I want to remind you guys that if you want evidence as to why Christianity is true, look in the comment section of this video because in the comment section I have a long comment that has evidence for Christianity. So if you're a skeptic, read the comment and let me know what you think. If you're a Christian, spread that comment. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. Now getting on to the brother in Christ's vision of heaven. He wrote, Share away if it brings one person to Jesus then great. I do not remember much but I can tell you this. I was in, he I was in heaven and I saw Lord Jesus Christ on his throne sitting and talking to me and he said do not worry my child do not be afraid you're not the only one to not be chipped a lot of people will not be chipped and I just want to add here in this part um Jesus is talking about the mark of the beast during the times of tribulation when the mark of the beast will be mandatory Jesus Christ is revealing to the brother in Christ that even though it's going to be mandatory many people will still refuse the chip and they won't take the chip so if you, if you do get left behind to go through the tribulation, do not take the mark of the beast. And then the brother in Christ continued, I cannot make out his face because he was so bright. He gave me a tour of heaven. It was beautiful. I came across a book. I said, Lord, what is that? He said, it is the book of life containing all the names of the people that love me and have faith in me. I said, why are these names sparkling or glowing? He said, these are people repenting of their sins now. I said, okay. Then I saw some names slowly fading away. And I asked, why are these names fading, Lord? And he said, those are people who left the faith or are leaving and now repenting. And basically all I can remember was that. So brothers and sisters in Christ, what a powerful, powerful testimony. But before I, um, I comment on, on, the, on his vision, and let you know what I think. Um, I want to remind you guys that when the brother in Christ said that he couldn't make out what Jesus looked like because he was so bright, I can relate to that because God also revealed to me, like I, I received a vision where I saw Jesus Christ in the clouds pretty much and he was glowing, man. He was so bright. And if you want to hear about my testimony, I'll include a link in the description box of this video if you guys want to hear about like what God, reve God revealed to me. Now getting back to the brother in Christ's vision, um, a few things I want to say is it's, it's very interesting that the people that were repenting of their sins, their names were glowing in the book of life. Isn't that amazing? But with that being said, the people who left the faith or they weren't repenting, their names were fading away from the book of life. And if a person's name is not in the book of life, they are not saved. Just simple as that. And this just goes out to show that one saved is not always saved because in this in this revelation, God showed the brother in Christ like, look, a person's name when they're saved is written in the book of life. But if a person choose to, chooses to walk away from their salvation and they leave the faith or they, they deliberately live in sin without repentance, their name is going to be, is going to fade away from the book of life. So the I want to add this I want to talk to you about this because many Christians nowadays they believe that they believe the lie of once saved always saved they believe they can do whatever they want and still make it to heaven I mean there's Christians that believe that atheists are saved just because at some point in their lives like an atheist believed but which is not that's completely not true um, we have to believe to be saved and that's belief is a continual process if you stop believing then you're you're not saved as simple as that you can by by choosing not to believe anymore you literally choose to walk away from your salvation you pretty much reject god so yeah, i want to remind you guys so you won't be fooled by the the doctrine of once saved always saved which is not true believe in christ trust in christ repent of your sins turn to god and if there's sins that you're struggling with and you just can't overcome it you have to go to God for him to give you the strength to overcome that sin and if you do fall into sin confess confess your sins to God man God is your best friend he wants you in confession he wants you in repentance and as in this 
as in this um, revelation that the brother in Christ got, the people that were repenting of their sins, their names were glowing in the book of life, man. That's amazing. So decide today, do you want your name to be glowing in the book of life or do you want your name to be fading away from the book of life? You make, you make the decision today and you decide where you're going to spend your eternity. Are you going to be with God or are you not going to be with God when you die? And we're not guaranteed, nobody is guaranteed another day to live. So, so turn to God today. If you're not born again, this is a call to repentance. This is a call for you to be born again. So this is what I want to talk to you guys about. Thank you for listening. All glory to God and God bless.